I'm ready. Ready? 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 Okay. Welcome to another episode of Ibu Versus! But before we start, question. Who goes to Ikea just for their food? We say hand. Ah, I see producers also raise their hand. So, today we're gonna make something from Ikea. We're gonna recreate the Ikea meatball. Three components. The meatball, the gravy, and the berry sauce. We're gonna make everything from scratch. So, let's go. Let's start. Soba. Let's go. Can't see me anymore, right? Can you? First up, we're gonna make the IKEA meatballs. So here are the ingredients. We need unsalted butter, onion, eggs, milk, breadcrumbs, minced pork, minced beef, allspice, black pepper, and salt. Ding! First up, we're gonna chop some onions. So you only need half an onion. Got it. There is always a method to cut an onion. If I learn correctly, first you need to slice around 12 slices horizontally three times. So once you're done with this, chop them finely. So now, this is where my expertise comes in. Just use one hand, press a knife and then chop. Okay, so after chopping up your onions, you would like to sweat your onions now. So you want to cook it at low heat. So what do I mean by sweating the onion is that you want to remove the moisture, make the onion sweeter, softer, and you know, raw onion tastes up. So we're not going to make mashed potato this time around because like, our recipe is going to be similar to what we created for the KFC episode. So maybe you can check that out if you want mashed potato at the side. How do you know when the onion is done? If you lift it up, you can see that it's a bit translucent as compared to when you first put it into the pan. So now we put it aside and then we move on to the batter. For the batter, we'll need breadcrumbs, eggs and milk. Okay, I have a question for all of y'all. Do you wash your eggs before you crack them? I do! Cause like the shit will be stick onto the egg. When you wash it, comment down below. Do y'all wash your eggs before y'all crack your egg? Voila! Now, you add the milk too. Okay, then you just mix it. So mix it well. Make sure that all the breadcrumbs, all the milk are together as one. So what you get is this mixture that it's evenly yellow. So we're gonna mix everything together. The minced beef and the minced pork along with our batter and sweated onions. <laughs> make sure you wash your hands. You can use whatever. Mix it. Just mix it well. And let's mix. Can you hear that sound? So midway, you want to add in the seasoning. So we have the salt, pepper. For the Swedish Sweden flavour, you want allspice. So for our Muslim friends out there, if you want to make your own IKEA meatball, all you need to do is just change the minced pork to all minced beef. Okay, and we're done. So now you want to wrap it up, pop in the fridge for 30 minutes, so that it's easier to roll into a ball later. Let's go. A little later. After 30 minutes, <laughs> you can take your meat out from the fridge. So it's now all nice and firm, ready to roll into a ball ball. So you must be wondering what is this, right? This is melted butter with a pinch of allspice. This is something we're going to use to glaze the pan and also glaze the top of the meatball so that it will be nice and golden brown and will not stick to the pan. Before we glaze our pan, one very important step, which is to preheat your oven. We want to preheat at 220 degrees, top bottom, and also with the span thingy. Spread it evenly, make sure that all the edges has a little bit of butter so that nothing sticks to the pan. Once you're done spreading the butter, leave it aside and come back to this. For this recipe, you can make up to 40 meatballs if you're gonna make this size. Now you're gonna watch me make meatballs. What do you want to know about me? I would like to say something called ramen, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and the name of this ramen is called Shin Ramen. <laughs> okay, so we are done forming the meat into balls. The next step will be glazing our pretty beautiful meatballs with the remaining butter we have. Make sure your butter is melted. So normally if you go to IKEA, right, one plate of 20-piece meatball is going to cost you $12.50. But over here, we made 40 with just $10. Now all we have to do is pop this into the oven for 20 minutes. Next up, we're going to prepare the gravy. And these are the ingredients you need. Butter, all-purpose flour, beef stock, heavy cream, soy sauce, salt, pepper, and chili powder. So first up, you will want to create an aroo. So, oh, then why you say aroo? You want to create aroo. Oh, 
Oops, I don't know. Do not put in that part, okay? Let's try to use smart outside. A U A E I O U. Firstly, we want to prepare a roux. So the roux consists of butter and all-purpose flour. We add in our butter. Alright. Run that at low heat. Okay, once your butter is melted, add in your all-purpose flour. Alright, then you want to mix it. So your roux should look like this. It's almost like a doughy texture. So once you have it, you will add in your beef stock. And then you turn the heat up. Mix in everything. Make sure everything is well dissolved into your beef stock. Okay, once you see that it's starting to thicken, starting to boil, lower your heat, add in your heavy cream, stir it in, mix it in. Next, you add in your soy sauce. So you get this really smooth texture. How do you know that it's thick enough? All you need to do is just lift it up and you should coat your spatula nicely. Now for the last part, which is add in your seasoning. So you have to add in your pepper, salt and chilli powder. Yeah, the reason why you want to season it last is because it is a reduction. So if you add in your salt too early, it might become a really salty gravy later on. Grab a spoon, be right back. It's a little bit salty but it's okay. That means it is enough salt. <laughs> 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 That's the end of our cooking of gravy. Last but not least, we're going to make the lingonberry sauce. So if you have been to IKEA and tried their meatballs before, you'll know that they use lingonberry sauce. But that berry is not readily available in Singapore. So we're going to use cranberries. So these are the ingredients we need to make our cranberry sauce. We will need sugar, water and cranberries. So first up, we'll pour in the water. Once it starts boiling, we'll add in the sugar. We'll melt the sugar and then we'll add in our cranberries. Simple. As that. So for now, we're gonna boil it. Some of your cranberries has split. So you can smash on some of them so they get you know different texture as you eat your sauce. And we're done. Mmm. It's good. Mmm. Eh? Now we're gonna play our very own version of ebooks meatball. So same thing, we're gonna make 20 piece. We're gonna pick the first one up. With the sauce and gravy. Ta-da! Do we have two picks? Oh, we have. I'll be right back. Soon after. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> you know it's ebook, so I'm gonna <laughs> place on my own ebook to pick. We're done. Okay, I need to try it. So I'm not going to ruin this plate. I'm going to try from the extras that we made. Since I've tried the cranberry sauce and it tastes fantastic, we're going to try the meatball with the sauce now. Mmm! Oh, I like that. I swear. For real, for real. I'm going to win. Good job. <laughs> I think something I did a little bit wrong is to add too much salt in my sauce. Pro tip, don't add too much salt. So let's begin. The competition. Hi! Hi! So today's episode, we're gonna replicate IKEA's meatball. Ooh, I love it. I love uh, IKEA. IKEA? IKEA? Oh my god, IKEA's meatball is my favorite thing. I always wanted a IKEA meatball birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs> what is your impression of an IKEA meatball? Very soft, there's that chart outer, and then the inside is like bouncy and like it's not very dense kind of meatball. Like you don't, you don't taste like meat chunks in the meatball. Ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they are the go to uh, brown sauce type of meatballs. This one got a very familiar the meatball sauce smell. Wow, okay. I, um, I don't know, it's like maybe it's the gravy, but I can smell a very creamy smell. Meatball. Lower, lower. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Oh my god, the, um, it smells like IKEA meatballs. Okay, this is IKEA's meatball. It's very familiar. The sauce is very salty. <laughs> Just like IKEA's sauce. Okay, when I poke it, right, poke into the meatball, it's a bit tough. But when I eat it, right, I feel like I'm eating cardboard that is that has been soaked in water for quite a while. The fragrance from the gravy and the meat lingers a little bit in my mouth. The texture is like quite chewy. But the outside isn't as charred as how I remember Ikea meatball to be like. A little little bit dry because I like my meatballs 
a bit towards the juicier and wetter side. Oh, mm. mm -hmm. This cranberry is so sour. And, but very refreshing, which is what the berry sauce is supposed to do. Mm. Mm. Fun fact, Sue does not like fruits. Yeah, that's why. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Not that. It's not that it's not nice, but because I don't like fruits, right? There was a whole chunk of fruit right there. I love the jam. Because it's very sweet. And then it complements the saltiness of the meatball very well. And like, I can taste the, there's the bits of the berries. The char on this meatball, I, mean, I can't taste the, that signature burnt. They taste quite similar, just that the texture is different. The meat almost has like a, almost has like a McNugget aftertaste, I don't know why. But like quite shook eh. This one is definitely softer, it's juicier, and I would say the level of salt is just nice. It has a bit more like of a buttery, mild taste. I feel like having eaten the first one really hot, this one is a lot less salty and a lot milder leh. I don't know sir. Is it because I eat the previous one so salty and then like no taste? Because this isn't as tart as this right? The flavour of the jam or the sauce gets overpowered by what is originally on top of the meatball and by the very meaty body of the meatball lah. So I can't really taste the sauce over here. The jam for this overpower the gravy and the meatball. So I don't really like this. This one. This one. Based on what I've tasted, right? I feel that I like this one better. The one on the left. Three, two, one. This one. I prefer this one. It's cause everything together. It's so much tastier. It's much more fragrant. Please, 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 please let it not be ebook. Yeah, I choose. <laughs> Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Me? Mm. Me, two, one, go there. No! <laughs> no! Why is it an book? <laughs> That's what I can say. You like to you la, it's wrong la. <laughs> I was right! Yes! I was like thinking, is this cranberry? Cranberry, man. I think that was what gave it away. In book, see? I told y'all. Organically, I'll choose your one. Wow, the, the jam then grows. <laughs> <laughs> like, for this plate, right? I like the jam and the sauce better, but then for this plate, I, for Ikea's one, I prefer the meatballs. But then for me, the meatballs is the most important part, like, of course. That's why I chose this plate. But then I still like this. But if you like, maybe take out, like, Maybe one teaspoon of salt then <laughs> I would have chosen this one. Oh my god, we lost! We lost so badly eh. All I have to say is blame me on the salt. <laughs> There's something good and bad about cooking yourself. It is that we accidentally added too much salt. There's something that I should have taken note and for those who are trying out the recipe, you should take note. We will leave it down in the description below, the changed salt content. So maybe you can follow that instead. But overall, I think it was very, very fun. Kaya's meatball already has its own kind of taste, kind of texture that everybody is familiar with. That's why they always fall back on Ikea's meatball. To be honest, Preparing this dish is not difficult, especially even though there is like three different components, right? It is very very simple. So if any of y'all tried this recipe, do tag us on Instagram. Or oh, if you're eating Ikea meatball, you also can tag us on Instagram. It's okay! Yeah! Comment down below what else you want us to recreate. Thank you for watching this episode of Ebook vs. If you like this video, watch more over there. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye!